Hey, what is going on, guys? This is Connor Semskir, and today I'm bringing you guys a new video. Today I'm going to be ranting about Call of Duty Infinite Warfare's private match, aka custom games. This is arguably one of the most undercooked, underdone, half assed things I've ever seen uh, in a Call of Duty game. Just take a look at this. So, you can barely tell right now that I'm even in a custom game or private match. There's a no map preview at the bottom left. How is that even a thing? It literally just says map frontier. Like you would have no idea that you're even in this thing at a glance. And what the hell is that background? Is that a, just a fucking truck? No specialist doesn't show. You create a class guy. You have to actually click on create a class for all that to show. You can't go through the lobby and like look at your guy and stuff and like all the different people in the lobby. It is just, just, just gloomy garbage. Look at the back. There's no color at all. It's literally all black and white. I feel like I'm in a fucking uh, old fashioned movie where it's all black and white. You know what I mean? Like, there's no color. Look at the bottom of the screen. It's literally all black and white. You could have at least made the triangle thing under friends uh, green, like how the button actually looks. The little triangle where it says friends. That's not, there's literally no color. This looks incredibly bland. I don't know who the hell thought this would be a nice like looking design, but whatever. It's literally, I'm playing a fucking black and white game. Moving on. Uh, there is no option uh, for recent players. So that is annoying. When you go host up a second map, no option to invite recent players. You have to go make sure that you have them added. Scroll through your 4,000 quadrillion fucking friends because you can't invite people on PS4 uh, just by clicking on their like profile. So you have to go through and find them on your friends list, which gets really, really annoying. So no friends or uh, recent players tab, which is another thing. Up next, there's no option at all anywhere uh, to set the lobby max. How the hell do you expect like pros and like big time people uh, to just sit here and not get joined session on in the middle of a match? No party privacy at all. No lobby max either. Can't change the max amount of players. Can't fucking close the lobby. How the hell am I supposed to have a normal competitive match uh, without people joining my game, whether it's by accident or if they just want to fuck things up? I, I don't understand, man. Like, you could have at least added that. That is something so basic. You could turn off party privacy and join session in progress in COD 4. Not COD 4 Remastered. The original, original COD 4 from 07. I think even games older than that. I think it might even be in COD 2. You could turn off party privacy and have the game lobby closed and fucking invite only. Like, how the hell is this not even in the game? I, I'm literally mind blown right now. Uh, no map preview, and here's another thing. You can't choose your team before the game starts. It's only auto assign and CODcaster. You can look as hard as you want in these settings, but there is no option to change the uh, like team that you want to go on uh, by like default in the main lobby. And I'm pretty sure even if you could do that, you wouldn't even be able to see what the other team is picking, so that makes the whole entire feature pointless just like aw's future was i i just can't believe that this was so half-assed man i don't think the game's even really that bad but holy shit could you at least put some time into the custom games like i don't know man did they just like put this together at the last second they're maybe running out of time fuck it just throw a picture of a truck in the background and just throw it on there like I'm sorry, dude, but COD 4 is just blowing this game out of the water right now. I don't know if you guys want to see more COD 4 or more Infinite Warfare. I don't. I really don't think iDubs that bad of a game. Like I said before, man, I, I've defended this game so many times. Like, there's an option. You can turn off the jetpacks. You can turn off the double jump and or the uh, wall run and stuff. That's awesome. But uh, I think people just aren't taking advantage of that, and we need more dev support for competitive no option to turn off fucking uh, join session like that is insane that's been in every COD that is a staple in every single game and the fact that it's not in there that that's in every multiplayer game that isn't even just in Call of Duty you can turn that off in Halo you can turn that off in fucking probably uncharted multiplayer or some shit it, it, I just can't believe it I'm fucking mind blown but <sighs> whatever I, i'm happy i just got that off my chest i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you agree remember to leave a like rating and uh maybe in you know, infinity ward uh will catch this video and maybe they'll add some uh patches and change the game around but hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you in the next one peace